Hola, Drunk to Boss. Bienvenido de nuevo a Lobo. Adelante. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome to Madrid, a city with 6.7 million residents and a steady stream of travelers mixed in just for good measure, making this a very exciting place to visit. I can also share a little secret with you on this one. Just about every place I visit is going to be a first time experience. So this one's going to be a bit of a journey of discovery. And let me show you where we can get a drink. This is the cocktail one. And this bar. This one. And this bar. And this one. This bar. And this one. First on the list is the heavy hitter in town. And did you really think I was going to wait before I took you to the 24th best bar in the world? Not on this channel. This is what you'd call the retro kitsch style bar, bathed in neon and trendy decor. And when hunger strikes, there's also an adventurous international menu available. You're going to find some pretty insane glassware and drinking cups at this place. Drinks are about 13 euro each and well worth it in my opinion. The Salmon Guru, as you can see, a pretty cool place to come to. Um, drinks are over the top, but in a good way. As we walk from Salmon Guru, we can take a short stop at the next bar, which is just over here, directly across the road, Lovo. So Lovo is a somewhat of a different experience, but uh, one that I'm told is a one to be enjoyed. Let's, uh, let's take a look. So let's enjoy this first time experience together. Let's go. Are you forgot to speak? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Josephine Baker, the first black female artist of the history. We have 24 characters that talk about my story. Well, for example, I was singer, actress, and dancer. Oh. A spy, yes. And then downstairs we have the cave where the wolf goes to sleep. There you have it, here we are. Ta-da! <laughs> to the hunt of pleasure. I love these parts. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs. Do you like uh, yes. do you like whiskey? Yes. 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 yes and yes. Do you like all? Or everything. Everything? Okay. Surprise nice. me. I'm ready for an adventure. Okay. A bitter with uh, hibiscus and long pepper. Uh, spicy, sweet, more or less. And enjoy my friend and welcome to Lobo. But when you actually get to step back from the madness, you actually get to enjoy some really good drinks. <laughs> the bar staff here know what they're doing. They're having a lot of fun with what they do here as well, which is, makes the experience so much better for you on the other side of the bar. Violet caviar plus spheric. Enjoy. I dropped in early, but I'm told that I should come back a bit later on a Friday when the party really starts in this place. So on to the next bar. The next bar is this Hawaiian bar over, over here, I guess. It's got a bunch of crazy stuff inside. So this is the first time bar, so I'm gonna go and check this one out. Open. Yeah. Uh, no food, no dance, a drink. Drink a chill. Uh, come on. Okay, cool. Wow. Aloha. Uh, aloha? Hello, Hi. Hello. So as you can see in the local bar here, it's um, kind of kitsch, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. Everyone, gets, everyone comes and gets one of these little things. It's worth just sitting down and taking in the scenery here. Honestly, I don't know what else I can say about this place. I think I am just speaking Spanish. Check out the video from the other place that I found. <laughs> that was much the same as this in New York City. Maybe it's time to learn Spanish. Free popcorn, meat along straws, and well. So this is a drink for two, but I should be okay with it. So I'm not sure if anyone's ever had to do a lay drop before, but this might be the first time. Here we go. Next time I'd love to sit upstairs and check out what it looks like from this view. I gotta tell you, that was an experience. <laughs> Worth going to. Uh, they only speak Spanish in there, but that's what you expect when you're in Madrid. Do it, do it, do it. Big tiki drinks, big fun, big laughs. Uh, good time had by all. On to the next one. 
The next bar is a prohibition style bar, and you know what that means. Password. So, we're gonna travel back in time. We're in January of 1920 at the Justin store the Boston Law, also known as Dry Law. But I'm gonna sell you a couple of different collectible items as I don't want to travel with the police, especially you not know, with the church, I'm very scared of them. Uh, my most valuable items, I can't leave them here. No, you will probably steal them from me. So that's why I left them behind my boat. And you should have the password to come in. I think you're right, and I think you're gonna put the number of dollars over here for me. Now you're gonna twist the wall two times to the left, and you're gonna pull towards her. There you go! Welcome to our company! Come in! You step back in time, back to the right, 1920s. So the boat was a favorite of the dry look. Why? A good Christian should not have a single drop of alcohol on his side. If not, that's a sin and you're gonna go straight to hell. As Italian he is, he's in love with your gastronomy. I'm pretty sure you've met an Italian before that says his gastronomy is the best one and you can't fight with him. I'm not getting involved with that. Anyways, do you know our businessman? We've got a lot of money, but especially here, I've got a lot of connections. Been able to get in my hands the Bible of the Pope. Nobody dare to touch it because he's one of the most powerful and richest persons right now in the world. But I'm gonna give it to him. Inside, some crazy stories about Christianity, as well as something that's gonna make you feel closer to God. Enjoy it. This is perhaps one of the best presentations I've ever seen for a cocktail. It comes inside of the Bible, you basically turn the page over, and then there it is. And it, this drink was based on a Negroni, and it actually tasted like a pizza. So, Henry Ford has revolutionized the world of motor. How he's done it? Bah! It was a fantastic car, the best ones in the market. As well, he made it very cheap, so every single American could afford buying one. Cigarette Henry, ingredients of the best quality, like the ones you're gonna find inside. And please, very comfortable with the oil, all right? Extremely flammable. They felt the need to give me shots in this place. I don't know why. All right, so, Marie Curie, from my point of view, doesn't even need any production. First one uh, to gain a normal price. Actually, she won two. Physics and chemistry. Inside, one of the elements she used for her brilliant ideas. CBD, also known as wheat with no THC. No worries, you're not gonna get high today. Really sorry about that. A lot of people think that Marie Curie is French. You're wrong, she's from Poland. But she did move at a young age, so she did celebrate like a proper French lady with champagne, pure glass. Once you finish it, I'm sure you're gonna have an idea or two for your normal price. But to be honest, you don't look that smart at all. Enjoy! It could be easy to walk right past this next one. It's clean, clear, understated, and something that I like in a bar. A little bit modest, not too glossy, not too shiny. This is Savas. What do you recommend? I would recommend some culture. You can see, back to basics for Savas. Everything here is just on point. No questions. Never been on, on menu. It's always out of menu. <laughs> okay. Because our philosophy of the menu is just these 12, they don't change. They may be evolved. Maybe some little small change. And the story Maybe remains simple cocktails, great service. Come back, come here. Nothing better than that. Very unassuming, but a lot of fun. Um, when I say fun, great drinks, very personable staff. The two owners that were there were the ones that served me. It was, uh, it was worth coming back to, I think. Another one on the list that I haven't been to yet is the Saints and the Forsaken. This one's just over my shoulder here. We're not sure what to expect in here, but I think we're in for a little bit of a surprise. So this is where you get to relive all your 90s grunge dreams. It's like being inside of a Tarantino movie, Once Upon a Time in Madrid or something like that. They're playing all the popular rock tracks. It was like a flashback to my childhood. It's very easy to get some drinks in at this place. This is one crazy place. I don't even know what to tell you about this one, but uh, it's worth coming to. It can be a little dark, see at times. It's probably one of the only places that you'll find a confessional in the bar. How about that? Pop in, confess your sins uh, to Mr. Bull. It looks like a <laughs> Great menu. To be honest, I can't even tell you how much the drinks cost. They just get coming. Thank you. That, that was an amazing experience. <laughs> but that was Santos and the blah, blah, blah. Cool. Thank you. So 
but this one I have been to. This is number 84 Best Bar in the World. Last time I came here, they did not disappoint. The fact that 1862 gets its name from the publication of the first ever cocktail book written by the famous Jerry Thomas is pretty much tells you everything you need to know about this bar. A very chill vibe, open air, and a great space to just hang out. You can go downstairs into a speakeasy style part of the bar, which is a little bit nicer, a little bit more relaxed, but you don't have the magnificent view that you have upstairs. As you can see there, no nonsense, no themes, just good cocktails, plain and simple. That's exactly what you want in a bar. So when I saw this one come up on my travel guides as best bars to come to in Madrid, I thought, what? Bar cock? That can't be for real. It can't be for something that you actually want to go to. Is that for tourists or what? <laughs> Let's take a look. This was interesting. A bar that's over 100 years old in Madrid and this basically tells the story for itself. Not sure I've seen this technique before making martinis, but what the heck. And an endless stream coming from this club. He was like some code or something, they will come here. So Ava Gardner, Sinatra, all the, the big celebrities, they will take place here, but not that in you. All things related to art, cinema, theater, is this the place to be Francis Bacon? This table over here, Fra Francis Bacon. Go yeah, to yeah. the original signature from Francis Bacon. Whoa. So after a little bit of a wander around this place, you can take a look and you'll see a little bit more detail. There's marvelous paintings on the walls, some you don't want to see. Basically, it's time to go. That was bar... <clears throat> oh, it feels weird saying that, I don't know why. Go there, check it out for the history, the drinks. Okay-ish, I guess. Now it's time for a little bit of a story. My first New Year's Eve, I came to Madrid. I sat at this table in this hotel and an angel appeared. She took me by the hand and said, let me show you something. She took me through to what was the bathroom and I thought, wait, what's going on here? But then, this. Close that behind you, walk into the next place, which will bring you into this bar kind of hidden under a restaurant, a hotel, and a bar itself. There's a bar upstairs, but not in this place, so it's kind of fun, kind of cool. I recommend like popping into a different entrance. Not everyone has angels on their side. Here is the Hemingway Day Kitty. Hemingway Day Kitty. it is. Hi. Hi. This one's coming out. Hemingway bar. You may view like this, this, and this. So after meeting a couple of Spanish locals, things escalated rather quickly. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And cheers that like button.